Hello and welcome everyone to the conclusion of the uh, German spring turn of 1940. Um, as you can see, um, the Germans uh, conquered Belgium because they have at least two armies in there. So this German, uh, sorry, this Belgian unit is eliminated as well. Um, the attack into Calais went reasonably well. Uh, they destroyed a French and a British army, but the two tanks were reduced um, because they didn't uh, double uh, the result, which is when the attacker does not uh, suffer any casualties and the defender is completely annihilated. But in this case, that didn't happen, so the tanks were reduced, which does open up the um, potential for a French counterattack into uh, Calais. Uh, adding one or two units from here, from Paris, and um, since these units are already reduced, if the French or British and or British um, win those individual battles there, uh, remember it's army against army, you don't attack the entire area, you attack armies in such an area. Um, that, that could actually mean that since the Germans are already reduced, um, that the French do not suffer any casualties as long as they win that particular battle and they don't actually have to double the result then. Um, over here, the Germans suffered casualties as well, but eliminated the, the two French armies that were behind the Maginot Line. It was a bit difficult to see in my previous video, but they were indeed behind the Maginot Line, but they still uh, won. Uh, and over here, um, one German army was reduced and these units didn't attack. Um, so in the end, I said I was going to perform a um, development action or um, I believe it was armor production that I mentioned. But in the end, I went for uh, air because the Allies decided not to use any air in defense, uh, which means that they could potentially use it in uh, the counterattack. Um, which is probably what they will do. Um, so therefore the Germans in the end also decided to, uh, realizing that the uh, Allies still had their air, and of course they could perform potentially another air action. Um, so they decided to play an air mission as well, and because of that they still have two uh, air, uh, well not remaining, but again they have two air, which they could use to, um, well potentially over here, because you know, you don't really want to use those tank armies too easily. You can rebuild them, it's relatively cheap in this game, um, but of course it's always better not to do so, also because the Germans do not have any armor points, which is why they decided in this particular turn uh, against uh, a reinforcement action, because most of all they would want to um, upgrade their tank units. Uh, but they can't because, uh, well, they couldn't because they had already spent uh, two of their three actions during limited war. So that wasn't possible. So, um, and uh, I didn't think that uh, upgrading infantry units was so incredibly important at this particular stage. So I went with the air missions. Maybe that was a mistake because, you know, it would have made sense to, to upgrade these three um, infantry armies, which of course wouldn't have cost me any armor points. And uh, for the fourth one uh, that the Germans are entitled to, I could have upgraded that one. Anyway, I went with the air missions instead. But as you can see, there are always more things you actually want to do in this game that you can than you can actually do. Um, so uh, this concludes the uh, German spring turn of 1940. As you can see, uh, well, obviously, because the French don't surrender until at the end of their own turn, if there are uh, German units in at least three areas. Uh, but it's quite likely that these um, tank units may be destroyed. Uh, so uh, that would mean that the um, campaign in the West will drag on into the summer. But we'll see how that uh, turns out. Thank you for watching and see you after the next one.